Right, we are seeing uh, more and more artists expressing social activism in their creations, and a new wave of museums are dedicated to these artists with a message. And our culture correspondent, Maya Margit, visited one of them. Protests, riots, and revolution. The art world is focusing its attention more and more on today's most pressing conflicts and social issues. Each year, the Haifa Museum of Art in Northern Israel hosts a mega exhibition featuring dozens of artists. This year, the topic is artivism, a movement that combines art and activism. Titled Dangerous Art, the show features 80 artists and hundreds of artworks. On display, world-famous artists like Vic Muniz and Maria Maria Acha Kucher, all directing their creative energies towards social injustice, civil liberties, and protest. These are artists who go out and try to bring about change, both politically and socially. But can art make a difference? Israeli artist Anna Mirkin protests catcalling and sexual harassment in posters seen on the walls of Tel Aviv. The text in each picture is something a man has yelled out at her as she was walking by. These photographs were uh, printed out as large posters and uh, pasted on the streets of Tel Aviv. The whole thing really dealt with uh, gender and power and being a woman in a public space. Lego street artist James Aim, aka Aim72, also believes in using art as a platform for social and political commentary. In this installation, the British-born artist, who is hesitant to show his face on camera, questions stereotypes around police and protesters. What I wanted to show was basically that um, the struggle's not always about the protesters, it's also, you know, the police are in the same boat in the respect that they struggle too. Hence, society sees the protesters as the good guys and the police as the bad guys. And this is not necessarily, you know, the, the obvious stereotype that I wanted to portray in this uh, installation. From women's rights movements to the refugee crisis and the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, no stone is left unturned in the show. Masks are a recurring theme and often become a symbol of popular resistance. I made my clay masks where the emphasis is on the teeth or open mouth. Silencing or censorship are always connected to the eyes or mouth, or the ears even, and this is how my project began. Artivism, a new movement showing that creative expression can be a revolutionary act. From Haifa, Maya Margit, I-24 News. Really amazing artist. I love the music yeah. that you uh, that you chose uh, that you chose for the the you know the piece. All right, so artivism. I mean, a very a very fitting uh, you know moniker. Of course, yeah. Are we? Is this something that's always existed? You think? Um, we just didn't talk about it, or do you think it's really more of a groundswell of popularity? I think. Well, listen. The term artivism is relatively new. It's a movement, a contemporary art movement. But artists have always dabbled in politics, and some have used activism in their work as well. But there is a definitely a resurgence of politics and art lately in the past few years. With many artists now, where they're overtly or directly trying to affect social or political right. change through their work. So I think the goal for them is to bring awareness to different social issues. It could be the refugee crisis. It could be you know some politician that they think is wrong or bringing about injustice. Uh, it could be, you know, it could be so many different topics, basically. Well, I mean, like what we saw. I mean, like to think that these these pieces of art were made before the sex scandal kind of blew up. But obviously, you right, know, yeah. these guys were kind of on the, you know, on the cutting edge of the fact that they made this art even before means that they were being active about it. Right. Before and we started hearing about it, everyone's talking. That's right. right. Before we he started hearing about artivism, maybe they have been active. You know, some of the most famous artists who deal with this are the Chinese dissident artist Ai Weiwei, mm -hmm. who's focused so many times on the refugee crisis, the global migrant crisis, and he just came out with a film called Human Flow. Uh, you know, so this is a and very. And he's been a great role model because he's right. mainstream now. Like, do you think it's going to help make some of these artists more mainstream? Definitely, and this art is very good for social media as well. This is something that goes viral. These are images that go viral across social media. Of course, so I mean. It like looks Warhol-like a lot of it. It's like exactly. pop art in a way. Exactly. With a, 
I mean, Andy Warhol posters. was an activist too. I mean, it was kind of the precursor to, you know, granted yeah. it was like materialism and different topics, but. It was much less overt, definitely right. much less overt, more subtle. But now you have people like Banksy, Pussy Riot, you know, the, the uh, Russian collective feminist uh, punk rock group. Mm -hmm. You have many of these different artists who are becoming more and more famous, and social media has definitely helped the cause of, of artivism and artists using activism. And, if they're, and they're now inspiring yeah. other artists to do the same. So exactly. it really is like there's safety in numbers.